Hi, I'm Josh Ackerman with Park Industries Customer Service. On this video, we are going to show you how to address an issue if you have a spindle sticking. Um, we're going to walk through the steps. We don't have that scenario right now, but we will walk through the steps on showing you how to figure out why your spindle is not raise and lowering. So to start out with here, we're going to turn our air off to our machine. We'll let that air fully bleed out there. And then whichever spindle you're having the issue with, just make sure you physically cannot lift it. So there's always air holding the spindle down when there's air onto the machine. So that's why we shut the air off and see if you can lift your spindle up just by hand. If it's stuck and you cannot lift it, then your spindle is stuck and you need to go through your spindle and clean that spindle up to get that freed up. And we will go through that later on in this video here. But the next step I wanted to show you here is to double check your air. If, if your spindle raises and everything by hand, then we want to check our air to see if it is an air issue. So we'll turn our air back onto our machine. We're going to press and hold our PI button for five seconds until we get our solenoid valve screen. And then here we can, we're going to work on spindle one, whichever spindle you're working on, just raise that spindle. So you could hear it come up on this one, but if yours did not, we just want to check our air also. So the blue line on the bottom of the air cylinder, we want to just remove that. And you can see we do not have any air coming out of there. There should be no air. You will be getting some air out of your white line, depending on what your gauge is set to. The white line will always have air blowing to it if the machine has air onto it. The blue line will only have air on when your spindle should be down and the air, if your spindle should be in the up position, the air should be fully shut off. So in this case, our air is good. If your air is not shutting off, then it is likely you have an issue with your MAC valve, that your MAC valve is not switching. So if your spindle is sticky, your air is working fine, the spindle sticky, this is the process on how to remove that and clean that up. You'll start with shut your air off to the machine and then remove these two bolts. So the two towards the spindle, furthest towards the spindle. And then this whole assembly with the fork will come out. When you do pull that out, be careful about your brass bushings on the spindle there, on the arms that are coming out. Make sure you don't lose them. Once you have that out, then we can go up to the top side of the spindle And it'd probably be easiest if you remove your tool off of your spindle with the snail lock off. Um, it'll create a little more room for you. We do have a video on how to remove that if you need. And then you will start by just removing these four bolts going around the spindle. So there's four of them here. You'll need a 9 16 wrench. Pull them a four bolts out. And then around the spindle here, just on the edge, it is silicone down to keep water from flowing directly underneath your bridge here. So cut that silicone out. Once you have them four bolts out and the silicone out, you'll be able to grab that dust cap, lift the spindle up, and then rotate it. Once you get it up a little ways, rotate it 90 degrees because of the um, ears on the outside of the spindle that the fork uses to lift the spindle up and down. You need to rotate it 90 degrees and then it will pivot up and out of there. It is a fairly tight fit, but it does come out. So now we're gonna move over to our table 
and we have a new spindle and we'll show you how to how that comes apart there. Okay, we're here with a new spindle assembly, but this assembly will show you how this comes apart here and what you would be looking at if you were cleaning up your spindle. So the new spindle assembly, you'll for the Fastback 2s, you get a snail lock and a dust shield. We'll pull them off. Your, if your dust shield is still on, you will have a set screw on each side holding that in or locking that down on there. Just loosen that up and then your snail lock should pull off. Once you have that off, then you're left with this. Make sure if you didn't take note of it yet, but make sure the brass bushings on your ears here that lift the spindle up and down are set them in a safe spot. And then we can just put an Allen wrench in there. And the spindle's kind of moving on me here. Crack that set screw loose. And it's gonna unthread that set screw. You don't need to come all the way out, but we'll see how far we need to. Okay, so that popped up. So we can slide that all the way off. And yours, this is a new spindle, so yours might be coming off a little harder. If yours was bound up. And these are a snug fit, so you need to make sure you're coming off nice and straight. Let's give this a little tap back to straighten that out. All right, make sure we come up nice and straight. My issue is that it's tilting just a little bit when it gets right to the end here. So we're just gonna give it a little tap. Okay, so then you have two pieces you are left with. So you're gonna wanna clean up your whole shaft here that this is the part that just raises all the way up and down. This is your part that's bolted to your bridge. So that's just a sleeve. These are the four bolts, or where the four bolts came out that you removed. Just make sure you clean up your shaft really nice and have that all nice and smooth. And then inside here also, there are brass bushings that it glides up and down on. I'm gonna clean them up real nice and clean up the center inside also so the debris's not getting in there. I would just use a Scotch-Brite pad. If your debris is really bad, you can use a flap wheel, but just be very careful that you don't take off, especially on the brass pieces, take off too much material. That's what guides this shaft up and down and keeps that nice and straight. If you remove too much material, you're gonna have that spindle shaft then can pivot and you will have issues, polish issues then. So then reverse order, I'm just gonna face my slot towards you here. Sliders shaft down, make sure you watch the seal on the top right here. And then I'm gonna put it so I can see that slot ever so slightly here. And to just thread that down in there. I am going to, sorry, tilted there. Just thread that down until it just hits until it just stops here. I'm gonna loosen up my jam nut to make sure I'm seeing that the, now I'm feeling tension on that set screw and I'm going to go one full turn out. Once I have that, I'm just going to turn my jam nut to lock that into place. I would recommend also putting anti-seize on, ours is 
nice and anti-seized up already, but put some anti-seize on if you, yours is pretty dry. Once you have that set, flip our spindle up again and make sure your spindle raises up and down really nicely. If you pull it all the way up and you start feeling it catch and you gotta bump this to get it down, then your set screw might be set a little too tight yet and you need to loosen that up a little bit here. Um, also, it could be the that the brass bushings or the shaft is a little dirty yet. So it should free fall completely down nice and easily there. Once you get that on, you can start assembling if you want or get your dust shield on and then bring it over to the um, machine and put it in. So once you get that back to the machine, we'll go back over here and we'll show you the reverse order of putting it in. So once you drop that in, make sure your, you have it lined up correctly. So you'll wanna go on the bottom side and make sure the ears for the spindle for that are lined up that they would, your fork would line up with. And once you get that lined up, you can start putting in your bolts. Make sure you also watch your seal on the top that's in between the bridge and the spindle, that that's sitting in there. Sometimes just putting a little grease on it helps hold that into the bridge if it keeps popping out for you. Once you get the four bolts started by hand, you're gonna just work your way around with the wrench and tighten each one individually. While you're tightening them, you're just gonna keep track and keep lifting with the air off. Keep lifting up and down on your spindle. And it should free fall drop down. Slowly keep snugging all them bolts up. If you find that when, it, when you tighten one, it's not free falling down, you need to move to the other ones. What's happening is that spindle is tightening down at an angle and it's binding up in there then. So just keep working your way around slowly and tighten up all those bolts until they're nice and snug. Once you get that, you can put your bead of silicone around the outside edge of the spindle and seal that off. Then we can come back down here and you would start by making sure your brass bushings are on the shafts. And once you have them on, then you should be able to slide your air cylinder assembly and your fork up into there. So just kind of hook the, the, um, the fork assembly onto the shaft of the spindle there and angle it and set your um, mount for the air cylinder in there and tighten up those bolts. And those should be that you can just tighten them up snug right away. And once you do that with your air off, you should be able to push down and make sure everything's moving freely. Once you have that, you can connect your airlines up if you disconnected them, and then you should be able to start operating. As always, if you have any questions, please give our customer service department a call, but that is how you end up fixing a sticking spindle situation.